Rhett General makes case for Desert Storm, Desert Shield Memorial near National Mall. Most everyone who has visited the National Mall in Washington, D.C., and even many who haven't had that experience, are aware of the awe-inspiring monuments memorializing the major wars our nation has fought over the years as well as the brave souls that made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. However, there is as yet no official memorial on or near the Mall for a fairly recent major conflict, the 1990-91 Persian Gulf War officially known as Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. One retired general who served in that war is leading an effort to change that, according to Stars and Stripes. Retired four-star Army General Ronald Griffith served his nation in uniform for 37 years, which included two combat tours of Vietnam as well as commanding the 1st Armored Division in the Persian Gulf. He recently spoke to the U.S. Commission on Fine Arts on behalf of the National Desert Storm War Memorial Association about his preference for placing the new memorial near the Vietnam War Memorial. The leaders who served in Desert Storm, we were all low-ranking to mid-grade officers during the Vietnam War, and we drew some lessons, explained Griffith. I would love to be able to have that monument somewhere that I could walk from where we left our buddies in Vietnam to the memorial that says, here is where we ended up. This is where we left it. That preferred location near the Vietnam War Memorial Wall would place it at the corner of 23rd and Constitution near the National Mall, and would keep it in the vicinity of the memorials for World War II and Korea as well, though alternative sites a half mile north in Walt Whitman Park and one a half mile west on the Potomac River waterfront have also been suggested. We've put a ton of effort in stated Association President Scott Stump. We have one last hurdle to climb, and that's the Commission on Fine Arts. We're trying to bring this thing home at this point. The proposed memorial has been in the works for some time, and President Donald Trump signed a resolution in March clearing the way for the project to begin. It is estimated that the memorial will cost about $25 million, privately raised, and be completed by 2021 with construction starting as soon as 2018. I argue this represents the true pivot point in American history, not only removing us from the legacy of the Vietnam War but as a true end to the Cold War, declared Southern Methodist University historian Jeffrey Engel. It was the Gulf War victory when the U.S. was able to feel again that it had a purpose and mission in the world. It signifies in many ways the end of the 20th century. NBC News reported in 2016 that the proposed memorial would feature a massive curved wall built of Kuwaiti limestone to simulate the desert sand and contain the names of the 383 service members that lost their lives in the conflict. The left hook design shows the military maneuver up into Iraq that enveloped Kuwait to liberate them, Stump explained at the time. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Fred Wellman, who flew scout helicopter missions in the war, said, we were facing the fourth largest army in the world at the time. Iran and Iraq had fought for eight years. This was a battle-tested army. I would just hate for America to forget that there was a moment in time where we stood up when called, and we did our duty, and we did it well, Wellman added. Indeed, we must never forget those who answered the call, especially the ones who answered with their lives. Hopefully this proposed memorial will quickly receive the necessary permission and garner the funding needed to get construction started as soon as possible. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter so everyone can see this effort underway to build a memorial in D.C. commemorating those who served in Desert Shield and Desert Storm. What do you think of the proposal to construct a Desert Shield, Desert Storm memorial near the Vietnam Memorial? Scroll down to comment below and below.